Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Underpants server. Today, we are going to kick off this episode with a wither fight. So, a um, little bit of an update. Obviously, I got all three of the wither skeletons uh, that I was attempting to get at the last episode. So, um, what it was, was uh, the second one that I ended up getting. Uh, because the first one I got on camera, uh, so you all seen that. The second one came about a half an hour later, and the third one came about a half an hour after that one. So, I have... Um, it was about an hour total that I spent down there looking for skulls, which is not that long at all. I got very, very lucky because there's a couple other people on the server that uh, have spent all day down in the uh, in the fortress there and didn't get anything. So um, some other things worth mentioning are the uh, I, I am now in full diamond armor uh, to anticipate this fight. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything that is really going to help me. The only one that was that is worth meant well, the only two. Uh, this will help me during the fight, but it's still kind of a garbage piece of armor. Um, the only other one that is worth mentioning is the uh, the the protection three uh, diamond boots, and these are still not all that great because I could have had, uh, you know, I'm still missing feather falling and uh, the depth strider. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a waste of a set of uh of diamond armor so you know completely completely awesome you know i am so good at enchanting um i actually got uh because uh, when i was en enchanting the diamond breast or the chest plate here um one of the items that i used to cycle through it because it was thorns too under and i didn't want thorns uh so i used a bow and it was happened to be a power four bow so uh it is uh, one more than the power three bow that i, I my main bow uh, and I did make, uh, I put two bows together, so it is, um, it's quite good. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff on it, Infinity, Punch, um, Power, and, uh, what is the other one? Unbreaking. Uh, so it's got all that good stuff on it, but I'm not using it for this fight, because one, I don't want to use it, and, or one, to lose it, and two, uh, this is a Power 4 bow. So, uh, going to help me a little bit more there got a bunch of you know strength potions and instant health and milk and you know all your your typical run-of-the-mill stuff for a wither fight so without further ado um i am actually down here in an undisclosed location away from my base and hopefully everybody else's base i'm pretty sure there's no one around here uh in case this thing gets loose hopefully it won't get loose um i have uh i typically like to do the uh, the one by two tunnel method it is uh, it is by far the safest method to do it, um, and you can't use the piston the piston trap method anymore to push them against the uh, the uh, bedrock ceiling in the Nether. It does not work. That has been patched as well. So um, we're gonna get started here. Hopefully, yeah, I think I'm ready. We got uh, we'll do strength. Let's do. That first, then we'll replace it with another one. And I have arrows. I have arrows. Okay. Whew. And here we go. Hopefully, I don't die. be all right who man wither fights always get my heart pounding where are there it is now there's star all right I am going to Oh, I didn't even have to use any of my instant health. Any, I didn't take any damage. That's awesome. Um, love the tunnel method. Absolutely love the tunnel method. So, uh, I am going to get this uh, cleaned up, uh, pick up all the stuff here, and uh, come down off of my adrenaline rush, and we will continue with the episode momentarily. So I got the beacon all set up over at the construction site, and um, it turns out that I do not have enough iron to uh, to make a full base. I, uh, I which I kind of knew going into it. 
Uh, I have enough to make three layers, uh, but not all four. So I am short about uh, 70 or 80 blocks or so um, to, to make a complete beacon. So I'm going to have to do uh, quite a bit of caving. It's, I can't go down to the iron farm and uh, and pull some iron out of there because it is currently, there's a sign on, on the box that says, uh, please do not take the iron uh, that we are saving up for uh, the spawn beacon. So... Uh, until that is full, I can no longer take anything from there. Not that I was really taking a whole lot anyway. I, I don't uh, I don't typically go down to spawn very often. Um, but I have uh, I have a, a different project in mind, and um, actually I'm going to do um, a little bit of caving here uh, a little bit later after I finish this here, uh, and it will help me uh, not only with the iron but also with this project. And what this project is, um, I feel I, I figure that we're gonna we're going to do something a little bit different today than work on the other base. So this is what we're going to do. This is kind of like the side project that I've been working on, and it's Mob Spawner. What uh, what we got going on here is a, let's see, it's 16 blocks, or 16 spawning pads. Is it 16? Yeah, it is 16. Okay. 16 spawning pads. Uh, each of them has a, a one block walkway around it. So there's not not anything more than, uh, anything than, anything more than two that, uh, or two wide, I should say, that that um, would cause either spiders to spawn or uh, inefficiencies that that mobs wouldn't be able to uh, to pr pretty much everything but these corners here. Um, so uh, just around the outside, uh, mobs would have to walk more than one block to fall into a water stream. That's that's kind of kind of the idea behind this. And what uh, this design isn't totally mine. It's actually Etho's uh, practical mob system, and but I did tweak it a little bit because his um, his only has a one block in the center, and it it uh, he designed it to fall from above, or he his, this design is his that he used above and the mobs fall. Uh, so I changed it to make it a uh, mob evader type system with a four block center. So I uh, I widened it uh, both. Uh, along both axes, and what I also did is I added this walkway um, around the outside because this wasn't here before. None of these, um, let's see, I, I believe this was filled in and this was filled in before. So, let's see, and I also did something with this water pool here. I think I moved it, I moved it out one, I think, maybe? To get the water streams to, to meet up correctly, I did something with the water that was different than his design, and it worked uh, worked a little bit better. It um, yeah, I think that's what I did. Anyways, um, I pretty much have them all done. I've spent a couple hours on them uh, a few days ago, and uh, I never finished it up because I uh, I wanted to get this uh, on an episode because I haven't really done um, anything out this way yet, and I, it's a little bit different than. And my my other my other base. So um, this here is uh, is the first layer, and it's all it's all prettied up. Well, not all prettied up. The pads are kind of ugly, but the walls are nice and, and brick and stone. I had planned to to do all the layers that way, and then it was uh, it was like, nah, I really don't feel like it. Nobody's gonna look at it anyway. So uh, I just left uh, the rest of these layers uh, raw. So um i have uh, all layers are done with the exception of the water all the signs are placed everything's dug all the glass is placed um everything is complete uh, i just don't have any of the water and this is that's my under my base there so uh we got let's see five layers that um goes all the way up to the point where i'm standing at the uh up top and what that is going to do is is allow me to uh, have this thing active pretty much uh, from from kind of a, a wide radius uh, around this place. So um, so that should be uh, fairly efficient. I do plan to go maybe one one pad further down, but I'm not sure yet. It just depends on on uh, where we end up standing up top. And uh, I want to show the bottom of this really quick because I don't have a dropping system that. Uh, puts them into the base like it softens them up so what I did is I made it a drowning system 
and the collection point is down here. Now, the stuff that's in here is, uh, this was from a trial run. I originally only had uh, these two layers down at the bottom here. Well, actually, I originally only had the one. Uh, and I had this one active while I was building uh, the one that's directly above it. And then those other three I just put, got done putting in there. Um, and I had these three running, or these two running, with the, uh, with the water that took it all the way up to the top. And there was a problem with one of the water streams. It wouldn't dump the uh, the mobs onto my collection point. Um, they would they would drown in the center, not the water streams, but the water uh, the water pillar, the 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 mob evader. There was um, a problem, and it turns out I missed. Uh, let's see, I missed a s couple signs. I think it was. I think it was. Oh, these two signs. These two, yeah, these two signs here on the layer above, I forgot to put in. So there was, um, there was a downstream um, up there that mobs were getting stuck in, and they would drown. So that's why I put these hoppers down here on the bottom, and uh, the collection chest below. So uh, any any items that they dropped, uh, I would still collect. So I think that's what I'm going to do again this time around is make it a a, a drowning system. Um, uh, because, uh, like I said, I don't have a softener yet. Uh, I may, uh, and it can be easily converted, uh, at the moment. What I have here is, we'll go up to the top, I'll show you the, the, uh, the top point, the collection point. Right now, all I have is a couple dirt blocks. Oops. Come on. A couple dirt blocks. Oop, there it is blocking where is it right here well I I did at when it was operational um, I had uh, dirt blocks in here to prevent uh, them from coming up any further uh, and uh, dropping into the collection point where I would have to kill them uh, so I basically drowned them right here uh, the water would push them up into the dirt blocks and they couldn't they couldn't get out they couldn't breathe so um, I'm probably going to do that again until I figure out a crusher type system. And the problem with the crusher is all the mobs are going to be different. Uh, so it's only going to work with some of them. So uh, I'll just have to figure out which the weakest one are. Uh, I think it's creepers. Creepers and skeletons, are, I think, are the two weakest ones. So, um, but I'm pretty sure creepers is a little bit weaker, or are a little bit weaker than skeletons are. So the rest of the mobs are going to be a couple hits, not a one-hit deal. So, uh, which is, you know, it's kind of inefficient, but I don't want, um, at the current time, I don't want a big, uh, a big loop up and around above ground uh, to drop them. Uh, if this proves to be too inefficient, uh, what I may end up doing is removing the water completely and uh, just digging a big hole down to, uh, well, down, what would it be? you know, 25 blocks or whatever, uh, so that way they, they just fall and die. Well, it might have to be a little bit more than that. I might have to take it down to bedrock, actually, because of the armored mobs. They take a, they take more of a beating than the, than the other guys do. So, anyways, what we're going to do, uh, now that I am all done with my long-winded explanation, uh, is we are going to start, okay, we're on the bottom one, uh, we're going to start filling this up with, uh, with water. Now, I should probably... Um, I wish I had a place to put an infinite stream in here somewhere. Kind, kind of, uh, I see I could put it right here. Yeah, we'll do that. And one goes here and here. And then we'll, uh, I'm not going to do... A whole, I'm not going to do all of these on camera, camera obviously. Um, just going to do this bottom one to show you uh, show you the gist of what I'm doing here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll finish up the other ones. And then hopefully we have a completed, completed mob system. Okay, and then we need... Yeah, we need... Uh, Need the ones in the corners here. That one. 
That one. That one. And that one. Okay, so. What is it not? Oh. Okay, there we go. I must have grabbed the wrong one. And then we need one here. One here. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, one there, one there, and then the rest of these get full all the way up to the top. Let me finish up this layer here. I'll go ahead and fill that back in. Okay. All the streams are done. And then what I like to do when doing these here, which is really super easy, is I like to take um, two buckets. Well, actually, you don't even need two, to be honest with you. And just do the corners. That'll fill in once you take it. And then you just grab the bottom one and just put it on top. And there we go. And you can do that all the way up to the top. Now, uh, well, normally I'd be able to do it all the way up to the top, but I have uh, I have layers on each, you know, different layers all the time. So uh, that essentially does one layer there. And as you can see, there are no dead spots. Everything is flowing into the center. Um, so it uh, it is fairly easy, easy to set up, which is nice. Uh, it's nice to have things that are easy to set up for once. Uh, typically, I do a bunch of overly difficult things sometimes, and it's nice to nice to just relax when I'm building, not pull my hair out. But anyways, I'm going to uh, finish the rest of these layers and tear down all these torches, and we will see if we can get this thing uh, working the way that it should. All right, all the water streams are done. Uh, every level is done all the way up to here, which is uh, the collection point up here. Just going to finish off the the dispenser type of deal. Um, this part's always a little bit tricky because it never wants to never wants to come around the edge here. So what I like to do is kind of make it an infinite stream for a second with that block there, and then break the block, and that. That tricks the water into coming on top of this, uh, on top of that platform there. And then I need stone slab. Come on. I hate it when it does that. That there, and I had a sign here because I did have... I did have a, um, I had a lava blade attached to the side of this. And, um, I, I don't know. I know it's probably not going to work because of the witches. Uh, but I decided that I should probably give it a try to see what all it, uh, what it does. Um, I can't remember if the witches fire resist potion is splash or if it's just for themselves. Uh, if it's, if it's just for themselves, that may work because I could, um, I wouldn't mind killing the witches uh, by hand, because they, uh, then I could use looting on them, and get, uh, you know, get redstone and, and glowstone and whatnot, uh, plus potions of, uh, plus potions of healing, not that that's a big deal, I mean, those are pretty easy to make, uh, but anyways, uh, so this here is done, um, let's, um, yeah, let's go test this real quick, well, I should say, it's not, it's not done, uh, I need to knock the torches off of the, uh, off of all the floors now. Um, the reason that I am building this uh, is because that I opened up uh, my first shop. What I did is I um, 
I opened up a, uh, a TNT and gunpowder place. Uh, so now that is what I'm going to be selling in the mall. And TNT is rather hard to, to get a hold of materials for. Uh, gunpowder is... Because um, there's obviously no creeper spawner, so you have to rely on a, uh, a mob system to to acquire the the materials. Now, um, that is hopefully uh, what this system will do. And um, I really like building mob systems. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, include them right right into the base because it's. Uh, um, it's just, it's super nice to have. Uh, I built one on the last server that I played on, the friends and, uh, the family server that I was on. And it was, it was the big one. It was, um, it was a 24 block, a 24 pad, um, system. Uh, it had 24 spawning pads in it, and each spawning pad was a 6x6 six six block. Uh, so it was a big one. It was, uh, it was a really good size. And, um... That thing produced tons and tons of mobs because uh, I had the area around it very well lit. The only downside to that one is because it wasn't layered, so it had a very narrow range that it was active. So you pretty much had to stand exactly at the collection point or the killing point uh, in order for it to be active. It wasn't active uh, very, very far out from that. Um, and hopefully this layered design, this uh, stacking them like I did here, uh, will alleviate that and still be uh, as efficient as that uh, as that big one was. Hopefully, I mean I don't know for sure uh, because this is a design that I have uh, not not tested in a practical situation in in real world situation yet. Uh, this is merely in creative world. Um, and I built it. Uh, this is the first time that I've built it above or uh, below ground. The other, the other version that I built was was in fact um, uh, I built. I should say I built the full a full version above ground. Uh, so they dropped them, and then I built uh, I think just two layers below ground for uh, for testing purposes, just to see that it, uh, see if I could get the water streams to work correctly. Um, to bring them, uh, bring them up to the top to work correctly with a, a mob evader type system, uh, and I did. It worked. So uh, this is my first time that I am building a full version of it uh, underground. Um, and obviously, you know, caves are going to be need need to be lit up. So that is something that I'm going to have to work on. Uh, I found a couple not too far or not too long ago. Um, well, actually, when I first started on the server, I lit up these caves under here. Uh, I did not get a chance to light all of them up because um, I couldn't find any more. Uh, so I know there's some somewhere. Uh, I need to dig around in the walls a little bit because I can hear mobs, uh, zombies and skeletons and whatnot. But uh, there's uh, no way to, or no uh, open way to get to them. So I'm going to have to do some digging, see if I can find some some unexplored caverns. Um, but obviously I'll do that off camera. And we got, that's the top, so let's go. Did I close up the bottom one? I don't remember if I did. That's closed. That's closed. That's closed. And, okay, that is closed. Let's head up to the top. I see what this thing will do. something with these uh with these reeds it's or at least make a walkway or something um so i am going to uh i'm going to cut uh go afk for a little bit see how long it takes this thing to generate uh because it, it may even be let's see it may even be nighttime out right now nope it isn't it's daytime so that's perfect um so i'm gonna let this thing run for a um, five, ten minutes, see if it produces anything, and then I will be right back. So this has been running for, uh, well, I should say it ran for about five minutes, and then it turned to, uh, nightfall, and then, uh, spawning had, uh, completely stopped, so, um, which is to be expected. I mean, uh, these systems really don't work all that well at nighttime, 
but during the daytime that they work pretty good. So, like I said, uh, what's in here is about five minutes, which isn't terrible. I mean, I, uh, it tells me that it works, but it, I have um, I have some more caves to light up. Uh, hopefully, this um, this works well enough to to be um, be practical. Uh, I know that mob spawners don't work as well on servers because of the uh, the server mob cap limit. Um, so uh, it, its effectiveness is a little bit diminished over a single player, um, but it's okay. You know, it's something, and it is a way to uh, to obtain gunpowder. Um, at the at the moment, I only have the one creeper in there, but uh, it's you know it's all random. Uh, typically, I see a lot of creepers spawn in these things. At least in my other one, I had uh, on my my single or not my single player my. Uh, the friends and family server that I played on, the one with the, the big mob system that I, I just talked about, uh, I had I had a lot of TNT. I had stacks and stacks and stacks of TNT. Uh, the only one on the server that had that much. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can get to that point using this system. Uh, I will keep an eye on this, and I will continue to light up caves around here. Uh, hopefully I find more than I already have. Because they definitely need to be lit up. That will help spawn rates immensely. Uh, what I may do, too, is light up some of the surrounding area up top. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, but anyways, that is going to be about it for this episode. Uh, remember, if you liked what you see, please leave a, a comment, a like, and subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. Um, it would help me out greatly. So I will see you all in the next one.